people everywhere know me as Mr. Pickle. It's amazing. At school where I just finished teaching, I was known as Mr. Pickle by students, faculty. In the House of Representatives in Concord, I was introduced by the Speaker of the House as Representative Pickle. Well, this is a big year for the Winchester Pickle Festival. It's our 20th annual Pickle Festival. There's been a couple of different stories on how the Pickle Festival began, but most people can agree on the fact that there was a dedicated group here in town uh, led by a longtime resident who still lives here. His name is Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill of Winchester and a committee were talking about doing something to promote Winchester. We wanted to have our own type of festival here in Winchester. What kind of festival are we going to have? He said, how about a pickle festival? And they all said, I ran with it. And so they asked me if I would be a mascot. They wanted me to dress up in a suit like Gumby. And I said, you're kidding. So I went to Keene and went to the costume shop. And we found this outfit. She said, oh, you like it? And I said, yeah, I'd like to buy it. And she threw in the hat, she threw in the bow tie, suspenders, blah, blah, and all that. So Mr. Pickle was born with this. My involvement with the Winchester Pickle Festival goes back a couple of years. Uh, I knew that Roberta Frazier, our select person, she had been doing it for so many years. I know she wanted to be able to step aside. She certainly wanted to see the festival continue. And a friend of mine who started a group called Winchester Proud said that I'm going to take this festival, I'm going to make sure that it happens, and I wanted to make sure that uh, it continued it as well. I live close to the downtown area, so my wife and my kids, uh, we would be um, <laughs> excited about going to the Pickle Festival every year. My son participates in community soccer here in town, and all the soccer teams are part of the parade, so we'd be in the parade. Also, um, my daughter's a kindergartner, and the kindergarten uh, classes from the Winchester School are always a part of the parade. So, yeah, we found ourselves here. People want it. And I think if we were not to have it, it would be a, a, a dent in the town's structure. I can't stand pickles. I hate pickles. And I really wish <laughs> uh, deep down inside that um, I could celebrate something other than pickles, but that is what was decided a long time ago. People can have my share of the free pickles.